Let's go. Welcome to the first episode of Dan Geesing Plays Gone Home. And this is a little bit different because the reason I'm doing this is right now I'm currently on the road traveling to New Hampshire. I have two speaking gigs this weekend. I'm, I'm going to miss Friday and Monday. And, you know, when I first set out the, the new show schedule for Dan and, and our shows on Monday and Wednesday, the Dan Geesing Live Gaming Show, and Friday uh, for Dan Ditches Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern. You know, we've stuck to that schedule. And I don't want to miss one. And unfortunately, or fortunately, you know, I have to work this weekend. And so in its place of Dan's Ditches Friday, I'm going to put up the, the playthrough of Gone Home. And I'm really excited to, to get going on it because I've heard a lot of good things. And I guess that's kind of a misnomer because I don't know a ton about the game. I've always been a fan of adventure games. Uh, growing up and this is kind of like another story type game that's gotten critical reviews I've avoided all spoilers and uh, so I'm excited to kind of jump into this thing and do a little bit of an extended playthrough since I am going to be missing two shows this week so I'm hoping that uh, this you'll get this entire playthrough over the next two to three days um so be sure to check the description for the posting schedule. But let's see what we got here. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay. Okay, so... You don't have to pick us love up. Love you. See you soon. Bye. What's that in the middle? Was that Florida Lee or Peeled Banana? What is that thing? So let's go ahead and go home and see what's happened to our, our fam. June 17th, 1995. What was going on in the 90s? I don't know. Let's, uh... Got some bags here. Caitlin Greenbrier. Portland. Okay, so we're in Oregon. Grab the cup. Press the right mouse or left shift to examine. All right, cool. Um, this has like a mist type feel to it. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. All right. So... That locked door. It's, the key's got to be under the mat. Nope. This is not Maniac Mansion. Alright, what do we got? kind of want to turn the brightness up just a little bit. Adjust brightness. I'm a very bright kind of guy. Alright, cool. So now I'm hoping you guys can see a little better as well, but... Uh, what is this? Like a vestibule? Open this door. Open that door. There's the key. Nice. Pick up the key, sir. Press 1 or I to check the contents of your backpack. Look at that passport. <laughs> Alright, so... A map, items, passport, key, journals. Alright, let's do this. Unlock the door. Grab tissue box. Soft face. Alright, nothing there. Read the note. Directions for to work from Newhouse. Left on grab tree, right on bullhorn, exit on 47 north. Travel time one hour and ten minutes. Can we shift this around? Alright. Close the door. So like I said, this is like an adventure type exploration game, so it's not... Oh, have a dong gun, 17th birthday. So it's not a like high action game, it's kind of... It's supposed to be awesome. Um, have a dong gun, cool, 17th birthday. Happy birthday, Sam, Uncle Harvey. Alright. What else we got? Janice Greenbrier, that must be mom. Over the Alps. 
Good fellow high school. Is that a varsity jacket? Front hall. All right. So nothing going on here. Open folder. Read invoice. Wellspring movers. Okay, so our family moved without telling us. Unless we moved in. We don't know yet if they're moved in or moved out. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. Okay. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. All right, so they're moving in, but clearly they have not moved in. Vax. Grab box. Quick fix. A little exploring, never heard of flush the toilet. Gotta flush around here. All right, so exploring everything here, seeing, leaving no rug unturned. Grab the pencil. Read note. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come and see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel's a total weirdo. Why has he got to be named Daniel? The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is because he had a Nintendo when we were little. Sounds like me. Sam. Sam. Hello. That's us. Sam. Sam, where are you? It's really? It's getting a little creepy. I need to talk to you. Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Here's one of the postcards you said. Alright. Hey, Mom, Dan, Sam. I'm in Paris. I've done many Parisian things, including eating La Petite, no clue, and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company, since you are my favorite sister. Alright. Obituary. Doc Mazan. Oscar Mazan, born of Boone County. Died last month in his home. He attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County for practice. He became a well-loved figure of the community. His survivors include nephew Terrence Greenbrier. Okay, so that must be our father. So that's our grandfather. Is that us? Is that pink hair? Close the door. I hear like a radio or something. Always turn the lights on. We don't want to be surprised by anything. Complete I Ching. Boone County Telephone Directory. So where is everyone? Examine form. Electrical inspection. Does the house meet local codes? Yes. Are there any deficiencies? Unclear. Wiring in the house is technically up to safety and amp requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into the structure over the last 100 years. System is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink on and off for no clear reason. Nice. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupt circuits wired directly behind the surface. Properly reworking system would be highly destructive of the walls, floors, and fixtures. After discussion, Mr. Greenbrier, there are no current safety issues. Alright, so maybe we should expect a little bit of creepiness here. 
combo. We do not know. One, two, three. It's, it's worth a shot. Alright, so now we gotta see if we can find the combo somewhere. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them. Open his eyes and saw them, the stars, twinklings if they're lying on the grass, his family yards in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. He blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon-reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Archimedes? Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk, despite not having touched a drop in hours. He vomited on his feet, his bare feet. He stared for a moment. Processed his toenails, scanned up his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. The fabric that strained at the seams contained her generous bosom was emblazoned with the phrase matter transfer operator. Thus he passed out. Changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions from the council had been clear. What to procure, what to construct. He spelled construct wrong. From it, how to assemble it. So he made the machine how to transport his body across time. Huh. Interesting. That secret. Terrence Greenbrier. Dear Terrence, I write on what hope... I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have more than a little time to consider my past and my family and my thoughts. I have often lingered on your development and welfare in the ten years since we last met. Your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard. You always... You are always welcome on Arbor Hill. I will understand if you fail to accept this invitation. Yours sincerely, Oscar Sar. I thought that was our. Right. What if JFK wasn't JFK? What is this stuff? Conspiracy stuff? 1963. Pioneer Combat. We used to have a Laserdisc player back in the day. Um, so he's describing a Laserdisc player. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to a craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD CD player, You'll be glad to know the pioneer seems to share this particular. All right. Let's just try 1963. Nope. All right, so the killing of JFK, a theory. You've seen the movie Discover the Truth. Alright, so this guy is... What is this? Alright, we've searched everything in this room. Let's go ahead and press on. Let's quickly find a light switch. something hidden behind that chair. What is that? Grab lid. Grab dad's second book. An accidental pariah. A message from our future saved the president's life once, but within the next 24 hours. A James Bond for today's audience. Got it. Alright, so this guy was some sort of uh, political fiction writer? Fresh. 
true stories of the teenage drag queen. All right. check everything out here. What is behind there? Oh, just a plug. Just a plug. Stranger under my roof. The number one best-selling advice for parents of teens. Dr. Alyssa Medina. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding your views you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even when it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations of your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's a ton of guys half your age who take half the rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss. So I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everyone will be happy. All right. Zero four five one. There's our code. Let's give the old college try here. This is the money right here. What's he hiding in here? Zero four five one. This is the good stuff. Dear Mr. Mason, please find. Enclose your original document and type copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Will and testament. Okay, what is he giving up? I shall hold true upon my passing. I declare I'm a lifelong resident of Boone County, no unmarried and no children. I declare I have no debts to his name. I give every item of value including the dwelling and acres at Arbor Hill to my nephew, Terrence. Okay. In the event that Terrence should predecease me, then, and in such event, shall fall to his children. Okay. So, I think we got this house because he died. That's what it looks like. And our dad is a technology reviewer who, who's struggling just a little bit. How are you, girl Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm the back behind you. Wave if you get this. Hi, Tommy. I'm Samantha. I'm new, what's up? I just thought since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either. Could I ask you if you don't mind? No, I don't mind. What do you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? Uh oh. Let's turn the lights on. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service. A little music here. Terry, how are you? I know you're a published author and everything, but my editor at Hi Fi Fishing is too much. We're gonna turn that music off. Role model. Uh, let's read this. And he's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in your last letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature. And writing stereo views is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records, and write up how it sounds. Then get paid. I've included some issues of the mag to use as examples. If you're interested, send me a couple samples this to David Werning. Got it. It's the book that Dad wrote. The Accidental Savior. The Andromeda Strain. Those records, sir. Ghostbusters and Labyrinth. That's what we used to have those in our house. Like a, a copied movie. Whoops. Examine book. Making friends. Sam thought this might help. It's a piece of cake to make friends. You know that feeling 
where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every Fighter, day after so school. Street Fighter, so good. Okay, so Sam had a friend who was like an army hipster. Hauntings and poltergeists. This the is a severe weather warning. Back Northwest Crystal. Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following Where's the VCR at, sir? Don County, Tecumseh County, and Wistaria. Fizz right. Residents right. are strongly urged to stay indoors. Hi, Terry. Includes you'll find a pioneer unit with remotes and cables. We need a half-page review for the October issue. It's a combi player, so check its CD playback with a few discs as well as laser disc. They want us to definitely hit the signal to noise ratio, ratio, and toss link stuff. All right. This is from David Warning. New address. Okay, so we're at a new address. A severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service. High winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following huh. counties. All Austin right. County, Boone County, Dawn County, Tecumseh County, Matchbook. and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected huh. at lower elevations. All right, so. TV listings, the X Files. All right. What's that? Ticket. The Coliseum, the showplace of Oregon. This is a severe weather. Pulp storm. Fiction. The Northwest Weather Service All right. reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties. We checked Washington everything County, here. Boone County, Dawn County, Tecumseh County, and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all Read story. Doors. The Plus heaven are expected at, lower at the edge of the world. Samantha Green by Briar Rick Grade 2 story. The Turtle People Part 1. Captain Allegra looked off the ocean and went on forever. So it seemed someday she would find the edge and get to paradise. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom. It was a black pirate ship. She yelled. I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, looks like you thought too soon. The black ship, ship came along the side. Captain Black... Himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra. Isn't that like a... Allegra is like a medication for like allergies. You're never going to find the edge. There ain't no paradise. And your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, we'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed toward the sunset. Dear Mrs. Greenbrier, I would like to talk to you about the stories that Samantha's been writing lately. They are what I would expect from the little boys in class, which, along with a few other tendencies I've observed, brings me a bit of concern. Please call to schedule a parent-teacher meeting. Button. Brett Mobile. Alright, so we found out that her sister is a little bit... She's like a loner. Coupons. And, uh... That her dad reviews... This is a huge house. And her dad, uh... Reviews electronics, and also is a conspiracy or a political writer, political fiction records or laserdisc. Dave Brubeck Quartet. In the comments, let me know if you know Dave Bru Brubeck's most famous song. I got that right in a random trivia question once because I took a jazz appreciation class in college. Um, reproductive system worksheet six. 
No, thank you. I'm not sure I want to read this about <laughs> the menstrual cycle. Play the record. Oh, I was hoping that was Dave Brubeck. I don't know. That's not the song I th thought it was going to be. Vodka, triple distilled. Sounds like a little uh, Fallout 3 music. I can dig that, sir. Dead, se dead second book. I already saw that. This is from the publishing company. Mr. Greenbrier, Breyer, I write to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up to Accidental Priya. Despite the low sales of Accidental Savior, we went ahead with the publication of the second books in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales have been lower. So, our books failed. Father's books failed. Bunch of the books. Alright. So, a bunch of unsold books there. Anything else we're missing? I don't think so. Let's continue on here. A couple highlighters. Bunch of junk. No. This is to Lonnie from Samantha. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too. So hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to. And we can meet in the parking lot after 6. To Lonnie. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready. Okay, so maybe Lonnie was the girl. So you know what they the say pants. about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7 Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Hmm. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Alright, so Lonnie is the army pants girl, so we can't get in there. And she also looks like Katie, tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. So... I don't know if she got into drugs and sold stuff, but maybe we can just hypothesize. Do we j Let's check out the map here. We have not been in this room yet. Read the note. Welcome new student. I hope you're excited at Goodfellow, your first day at Goodfellow High School. Please bring the following with you. Sturdy folder, notebook, six pens. Positive attitude, not crossed off. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, That's every her. kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Okay, so now we know that we live in a house where there at once was a someone with a strong mental illness, or we can perceive to be. That Sugar Skull. First place, 400 meter relay. Caitlin. That's us. Long jump, first place. Nicely done. We're no slouch in the track and field events. Holy Bible. Put that back in there, sir. Another letter. Dear Jan, it's so good to hear from you again. This is from Carol. 
All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year? When we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes. I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Looks like you got both. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them. But seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. Canada. Like Winnipeg is... Edmonton. Edmonton. I don't... Alberta. Winnipeg, Alberta. Sorry if you're Canada. I don't know where Winnipeg is. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you want to want to trade places. How the girl's doing. Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, right back soon. All right. So mom had some friends. Locked door. Looks like we have to go upstairs. That slow, dramatic walk. Control burn, burn schedule for Boone County. This is in 94. Janice Greenbrier. Plumes of smoke will rise above the northeast region of Boone County over the better part of next week as part of a forestry-run service-controlled burn. Okay, forestry crews have been pre preparing the area for months. Burn operations will take place between 8 and 5 p.m. on Monday and Tuesday. Valuable training. Okay, so this is nothing out of the ordinary, but sometimes you have to burn some vegetation and get things under control. Just want to make sure nothing jumps out at us. I'm not. Ex this is, from my understanding, this is not any type of horror game. It's just a discovery game. So I don't want to get there. All right. Weekly calendar: couples, bowling, cooking class, take apron, ballroom dancing. Cook the big meal for Terry and Sam. All right. Notice of temporary personnel transfer. That that dot matrix printer. To aid in the upcoming prescribed burn operation, a ranger with expertise in the procedure is being transferred to the station in Flintlock National Forest on September 2nd, 1994. That's the day after my birthday. How old? I would have been 11 then. Um, the overseeing officer at Footlock Forestry Station, Janice Greenbrier, is charged with the supervision of transfer personnel. The duration of this transfer will be based on blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we know that someone new came in the area. Cassette tape. Brat mobiles. Potty mouth. Oh. For Sam. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know. SNES, so I good. I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. What's the name of that band? Um, the Misfits or something? Alright, so... Sam has found a friend named Lonnie. Alright, two mate concerned. I'm Samantha Greenbrier. I'm 17 years old and therefore I have independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is absurd. Katie can do it. And she's on the other continent across the ocean. I just want to spend an evening in a norm normal, totally safe city on my own like a human being. Since you also remember that I have my own car, you can't really stop me. Sam, stop leaving every damn light in your house. You're as bad as your sister. Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. This Daniel guy's obsessed. open that oh. all right that's, that's creepy let's turn that off grab cartridge what game is that adventures adventurous the cat all right that's the that guy wants his adventurous the cat game back cassette bratmobile cool school play it we're so cool, yeah, yeah. 
I think my sister did something like that. Sam, I think the creative right track would be a perfect fit for you. Ambient music. This is the one me and my dad are building. I'm gonna go for a ride when it's done. That's enough for you. Get that out of here. All right, so she's a locked combo. Jody Foster, the girl from 90210. Don't know who that is. That's the girl from used to date Jack Nicholson. Nev Campbell. I was obsessed with Nev Campbell. Still am in an unhealthy way. Sorry, Nev. And uh, Kim Basinger. More Super Nintendo games. Super Spitfire. Awesome. Journey of Crystal. Let's check this cassette for... I'm just looking for the code to her locker. Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing. I've decided. Write me back. Also, there's an idea for something. To draw two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What are what are, all are what all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages on their beeper. But we're cooler than because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. I had a beeper in the nineties, that's embarrassing. Your drawing of cats was so good that I added background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing notes. I bet kids don't even write notes anymore in school. That's that's a shame. I like it. How did you know they're about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, his secret shame is he watches 90210 religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats. He's never watched 90210, but you could tell he was lying. <laughs> is that another game? Oh, it's the same one. All right, let's check the trash here. Student name Yolando De Soto. How does she have this? Paps blue ribbon shirt. So she got a detention from wearing a beer shirt. Student signature. Lonnie. Ah, oh, her name was. Got it. Okay, so Lonnie is really Yolanda. Just, we're not done in here yet. Groove. Eddie Vedder. I feel like I'm in the 90s right now. This is awesome. It's like my heyday. Alright, let's find your little combo here, ma'am. Sam had that thing in fourth grade. Grab book. Holy Bible. Just accidentally placed it on the ground. The King's Labyrinth. Captain Allegra. Oh, this is the continuation of her story. Captain Allegra still in her flowing skirt and study jerkin. Descended the single shining thread into the lower cavern of the labyrinth. She and, and the first mate, on their own now, grew closer to the goal. The throne room of the dead immortal king of the island. The first mate slid down the line onto the stone floor. She swept chalky bone dust from the front of her canvas trousers and looked up to Allegra. The silken thread, nigh unbreakable, thanks to the enchanted moss that inhabited the island, trailed behind leading their way to the entrance. From further into the labyrinth, a moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. It turned into words from some ancient language they could not understand. The king's cursed voice. The hairs on Captain Allegra's arm stood on end. She looked back at the first mate, whose eyes remained locked on the blackness of the passage for a moment too long before the, noticing the captain's gaze. He 
He's saying. We have the advantage in numbers that will draw his attention. So we're trying to fight the Goblin King here. It was a good plan. Okay, so did the plan work? from some dank passage too far away. Allegra heard the first mate scream. She was already running towards the sound. The line in Allegra's hand went taut, then shuddered. It fell slack to the stone floor. And Allegra ran and saw... And as Allegra ran, she was gathering line, twisting around her arm. She came to its end. It's the unbreakable end dangled limply. Its end shredded and frayed in their hand. Okay, so the first mate died. What's that thing? Plaque. A lot of 90s Paraphern paraphernalia here. What's your number? Case sync. Alright, so we did not find her. Scrutinize. Those are the things you just put your nose up to and you would see something pop out. I'm trying to do it right now. Can't tell what that is. I don't see anything there either. I tried though. I gave it the old college try. What's that? Codes. Chun Li moves. Those pro strats. All right. So no luck with the code. Just gotta have the code here somewhere. It's totally chucking our sister's stuff everywhere. Emma. Alright. So make sure that we. Um, C minus. Not challenging assignment. Metal plaque for family portrait. Reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mean just add them underneath. Take more pride in work. All right. That's it, huh? No codes. We tried 101.7. Maybe we'll find it elsewhere. It's kind of a cool room. All right, let's press on here. Hey Sam, do you want to see this is from Lonnie? Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum this last week? And Todd won't shut up about it. And we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom's supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can ditch out on it probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie really violent? Am I gonna barf? That barf drawing. According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. 715, alright, don't barf. So that's what that ticket was for. Nail polish. Nailed it. Pick up everything. Sparkle. Is that soap? That is not soap. That's not... What the heck? That's blood. Oh. Never mind, it's not blood. It's red hair dye. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. 
Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. How's there not a mirror in the bathroom? I waited. The Wet bandits. Was gone. All right, so sounds like Lonnie may have a little bit of a crush on Sam. Is this the parents' room? It got like ransacked or something. We don't need to describe what that is, just in case there are some underage people watching that. You probably can just figure out what that was on your own. If not, it is it was just some candy. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got here. Grab the book. Another Bible. That's the third Bible we found. Business card, Unknown Dimension Literature. Michigan Avenue. Kaz. Communication must become total and conscious before we can stop it. Postcard. Oh, it's a letter from us. Dear Mom, Dad, and Sam, we're in the channel. It's my second passage through. Sorry I didn't write you. I was too excited about the channel. London was great. If you all want to come back, you guess you could be convinced. All right. Let's see what else we got here. What movies we got? All the President's Men, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, The Fugitive, Bridge on a River Kwai, Silence of the Lambs. I thought someone was in the hallway. Something made. I can't read those. Mitten. Caitlin made that mitten the cat. Get out of here with that. Those dirty undies. Not to be confused with fresh undies. What is this? Walt Whitman. Walter White. Take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands, Rick. This is from our mom's friend's college roommate. Let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had our own down periods. It's become a bit of a way of life, actually. You get used to each other. You live your own lives in the same house. Kids grow up, then go away. I'm sorry this isn't helping, is it? Don't worry. Terry will get over whatever's distracting him. Things will go back to normal. And as for Sam, being distant, that's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. In the meantime, though, this controlled burn that sounds like quite the adventure, but let's cut to the chase. This new ranger they sent, that's what I want to hear about. Ranger Rick, you have to be kidding me. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything and send pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. Keep your chin up until Terry is out of his slump, and in the meantime, write more letters to your old friend Carol. She adores them. All right. Ranger Rick, huh? A creepy family photo. What's this? Checkbook. It's in the old walk in closet. Watercolor techniques. All right. Family bathroom. No mirror. Black fryers for men. Those cabinets don't open. Let's see if we can fill up the cup. Nope. Should be the bathroom. The turlet should be in here. Where's the turlet? There's the turlet. After the honeymoon. <laughs> Gotta give it the good old college flush. Candles. Nonsense. Shampoo. Right as rain, throw it in there.
Nothing of value in there. The wet bandits. We leave all the faucets running. Alright, so we didn't learn a ton from this room. Let's check out our map status. We've seen everything except in this room. Oh. Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in the summer, but you came on such short notice they weren't around to doing it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. So this was supposed to be our room. Comp book. Ghost Hunter Journal. Tall shadow in the upstairs hall when rounded... Who wrote this? Did we write this? Tall shadow in the upstairs hall when I rounded the corner no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. A couple days later, 12.44 a.m. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. September 9th at 4.11. Poured milk from the cart in the fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure... I read that spirits can spoil milk. Milk was bought yesterday. Ghost milk. I said for Lonnie said she feels a presence in the TV room. Suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow for it. A couple days later, Lonnie and I employ a Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. 28. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol the premises, recording any signs of outwardly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remain unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in the attic. Leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite our efforts, we fell asleep at 4 a.m. So just a fun little journal. Hopefully that's not anything real, because I'll be freaking out. Um, hey, Sam, we were asking what J-R-O-T-C ribbons meant. Here's a handy guide. Now you know. All right. That's about it, huh? And I think this is where we're going to end. Should we just see what's on the wall here? Sam's dark room. Do not en enter. I think this is where we're going to end this part of the playthrough. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the next scheduled episode since we are going to be missing uh, the Dan Geeseling Live Gaming Show this upcoming Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern. That's when you can expect the conclusion of Gone Home. So that will be posted on YouTube on the channel at 6 p.m. Eastern on Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this and hope you guys felt this was kind of a somewhat adequate replacement for Dan Ditch's Friday. And... Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you on Monday. Later.